Instagram market, a daily program on Nifty Bank, Nifty and Dollar. What do we do in this? We analyze Nifty charts, we look at uh, open interest, we look at FIDI data and we try to form an informed opinion on how the market is likely to behave tomorrow and how can we react to whatever market does tomorrow and we also suggest some option strategies at the end of it. Uh, we've been here for the last two years, most of you are regulars, you know the drill. Uh, so let's get started by looking at Nifty charts. So our yesterday's analysis uh, was that um, <clears throat> it's a it was a sell on uptakes at 18,000 levels uh, was what we talked about. We thought that uh, 18,000 to 18,100 zone will be a resistance. So today, as you see, uh, the market uh, breached 18,000 and it is now sitting at 18,100. You can also see that this has bounced off with a tiny wick from uh, the bottom of the channel. In fact, if you look at the intraday effect of that, uh, it is much more pronounced because we could see it going down almost. Uh, that's this this reasonable number of points. Sorry, Friday, Jan twenty three. So that is it dipped almost uh, back to eighteen thousand from the bottom of the channel. So there is a resistance at the bottom of the channel that we should be aware of. <laughs> also on hourly time frames, you can see that there are three, four moving averages clustered around 18,100 level, right? This is point number one. Also, because we are starting the week, we can see that. So this is uh, interesting, right? So this is a red candle. This is a bullish uh, harami after the red candle. This is again a bearish piercing after the <laughs> green candle. And now we have opened on a uh, green candle. So the market is demonstrating significant effect of uh, up and down. Uh, so okay. So there is one. Uh, second thing, right? Uh, bank Nifty chart. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> bank nifty chart is in a channel if you look at friday's price action it seemed we had comprehensively broken the channel but bank nifty is back into the channel with a bullish harami candle right so this is a bullish harami candle this is just below the 50 day moving averages average but it is pretty obvious looking at this chart that Bank Nifty has gone back into the channel and it is showing a bullish engulfing candle, sorry, bullish Harami reversal candle at the bottom of a support. So Bank Nifty daily chart looks bullish indeed. Nifty daily chart is also showing some bullishness because it has closed above the 18,000, closed very pretty close to 18,100 levels and this is now acting as any kind of resistance is the bottom of the right uh, let's look at dollar dollar has fallen but interestingly dollar is now hitting the bottom <coughs> of close to the bottom of the trend line we had driven some I mean uh, drawn him back and it is if you connect this bottom this bottom and this bottom it is close to a support level also dollar is now testing the 50 day moving average with an inverted <coughs> uh, hammer candle right so dollar looks like it's going to take a boss here it's probably not a good time to short the market on dollar so now let's look at um, FIA sorry uh, open interest data right so today's open interest uh, data looks requires some kind of a uh, analysis right so Point number one, let's look at open interest analysis. Uh, there are so many put options being added at and below 18,100, right? And there are also put options uh, cumulatively standing at 18,000. But you can also see overall above 18,100, there are a lot of call open interests built up. And you can also 
see one more interesting thing at 18000 the call open interest has been unwound so 18000 whoever had sold calls they've all gotten out that is what is clearly says this is a call unwinding that is put addition also and you have to also look at this 9 million put oi which is here so this oi plus this oi unwind suggests that 18000 will become a big sorry a uh, big support as per oi data right but having said that pcr is mildly bullish it's not predominantly i mean it's not full on bullish right now i'll tell you something even more interesting if you look at open interest activity after 11 o'clock right this is crazy right because 18000 puts were unwound after 11 o'clock 18000 calls were also unwound after 11 o'clock again if you look at it after 1230 lot of unwinding at 18000 and 18100 whereas not so much somewhere here so the second if you look at first the entire day it's easy to think that this is an extremely bullish day but if you look at the second half of the day anywhere after 11 am it doesn't look so bullish as it appears in the first glance right so second half of the day the momentum was not as bullish as the opening of the day so it's like a little tricky it's, it's not easy to decide that this is an out and out bullish option chain because the devil is in the detail and the detail says that this is not full on uh, bullish right and you have to also take into account the fact that um, towards so i'll i'll just show multi strike oi for that so if you look at this right you can see a sharp dip in put option from around 14.8 million oi to 10 million oi uh, at somewhere between uh 11:50 and 3:30 whereas if you all call oi right <coughs> 18100 call oi for example it hasn't really dipped 18100 call oi has remained constant between this and this. so i don't want you to outright think ki bhai sab kuch khatam ho gaya let's go bullish we have to exercise some caution right so this is that now finally looking at fi data fi data today is bullish because they bought 25000 calls and sold 21000 puts uh, also bought 2000 crore futures which is outright bullish stocks may they have sold which is interesting because with a day like this one would assume that there could have been some a lot of buying in stocks right like i would have assumed stock buying to be at least 1000 crores with the kind of movement we saw today but we only saw 203 crores sell which is not really you know nice uh, so although today's movement is outright bullish there are a lot of ifs and buts to it is what i feel <clears throat> therefore my verdict is this right i don't want to jump into anything right now see if bank nifty holds this channel right tomorrow bank nifty is opens up and sustains about today's close then bank nifty will go up right for sure because it has confirmed a bullish harami pattern and if it breaks 50 dma also it's incredible it will go very 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 up and time you have to get out of the shorts for sure but if it does not do and if it goes below this channel level which is around 40 to 400 and you will know the channel level breaking when you see the price action at that point you have to really think through okay is this a good idea to be bullish now uh, so but if you ask me put a gun on my head yes after seeing this i am thinking bullish scenario is more likely than bearish scenario no questions asked why because if bank nifty is above the previous all time high close it has gone back into the channel there is 50 dma but it's not going to care about the 50 dma if tomorrow's opening is bullish and even if it falls down again right the previous all time high might act as a support so there is support at the bottom of the channel there is support uh, which is around 42500 levels there is also support at the uh, uh, horizontal level here which will be 41800 so 42500 uh, and 42 41800 can act as supports therefore 
probably bank nifty is going to go up now the catch is this right bank nifty is 40% of nifty if bank nifty goes up it's highly likely that nifty will also go up so if bank nifty does that i won't be surprised if nifty goes back into this channel and if nifty goes back into this channel we can expect some serious bullish fireworks so my trading plan for tomorrow is unfortunately today eod i am carrying some calls sold but it's a spread so my loss is limited but if tomorrow opens up and we see a base forming and a price action where it doesn't correct much then i think we will see nifty go back into the channel and go to new all time highs very very probably right and that's a very real scenario if this channel holds same story for bank nifty if bank nifty is able to go back into the channel and cross this 150 dma then we can bank nifty going to new all time highs which is probably another uh, 5000 points away from here 10% plus same goes with nifty nifty is going to go back into the channel we can see very bullish moves whereas if it corrects we can see bearish moves so all eyes on the channel all eyes on the support levels right um so what is so then saying all the data does not suggest bullish rahul is asking what's up with uh, nasdaq fintech dijen oh you're back fintech dijen is saying that bearish flag pattern at making in daily daily chart sell side 100% quantity and buying side 50% quantity good idea chat in terms of position sizing yeah yeah this is what even i am thinking and i don't know how that was going to turn out so <clears throat> so not sure um uh, manoj is saying share your position tomorrow i'll take contrary but yaar le lo yaar call call khareed lo main to call bech bech ke baitha hu to to if you want to buy calls please do buy calls if that is your alpha please take the alpha and give me revenue share for you know making this contra indicator <laughs> so what about anyway i've been having like a bad four days back back so because there is fin nifty also let's just try and do what is fin nifty up to tomorrow right why i yaar but See my point is this right why do you want to look at fin nifty anyway it is bank nifty right it's what 96 97% correlated with bank nifty so if you want to trade fin nifty it is better that you trade bank nifty uh, i mean basically look at nif- fin nifty i mean bank nifty chart and trade fin nifty because it's more reliable thanks to the volumes right anyway so that is our analysis for today we'll see you uh, uh again tomorrow as usual this is not advice or uh, uh tips or any of that uh uh samir is saying tomorrow again gap up sgx nifty is 18250 here 18250 is what some 50 60 points away from today's close right i think today's close was 18 where was the futures close today 18180 is it 18160 right so yeah if it that's a 100 point gap up if it holds of course uh so by the way let's quickly look at all the Oh, Dow is up half a percent. Uh, S and P five hundred is up one percent. Are they? Kal to hmm. and Nasdaq is up two percent. Okay, so yeah, so if this happens, uh, we can be pretty sure that tomorrow there might be a rally, and if that rally holds, right, everything is back into channel, and we can see. a lot more bullishness in the coming days right and uh, it's a very there's a i mean there is I mean, all these things like bull traps and bear traps are real and uh, it looks like if nifty is able to get here we can see a lot of fireworks if it hope seems like if bank nifty can hold this we might see fireworks right so all eyes on the channel depending on the channel you can either do a bull call spread sorry if you're doing a bull co- bullish trade do a bull call spreads because it's a big movement which is going to come either ways so or long futures if the channel holds and if it's you're going to short because the channel broke then i'll say bull put spreads or short futures because again you're playing for a big move this time because this is going to be a comprehensive deciding move which is going to be either big up or big down right so i'll my preferred trades will be call spreads bull or put spreads there so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual uh please do your own research risk management and please take your own uh uh trade according to your comfort risk appetite and peace of mind uh, nikhil i don't know the answer to the question you are asking so uh, i'll pass that and let's see what i can come up with before tomorrow so till we meet again please uh